everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. Last week, I was in western North Carolina and visited the graves of Enoch and Gwen Staley, along with a quick visit to the historic North Wilkesboro Speedway, which for the first time in more than a quarter of a century, is scheduled to host a NASCAR Cup Series race. This week, I've moved about a hundred miles east of North Wilkesboro to the Linwood Cemetery here in the city of Graham, North Carolina. Here tucked away in the far corner of the cemetery, we find the graves of well-known humorist Jeannie Robertson and her husband Jerry. Jeannie Swanner Robertson was born on September 21, 1943, in Chelsea, Massachusetts, but was raised here in Graham, North Carolina. By the time she was 13 years old, Jeannie had grown to a height of 6 feet 2 inches tall and excelled as a high school basketball player. In addition to being a top athlete, Jeannie began entering beauty pageants, and by the age of 19 was crowned Miss North Carolina. She represented the state of North Carolina in the 1963 Miss America pageant, where she was named Miss Congeniality. Standing six foot, two inches tall in her stocking feet, Jeannie remains the tallest person ever to compete in the Miss America pageant. Following her reign as Miss North Carolina, Jeannie used her scholarship money to attend Auburn University, where she majored in physical education and played basketball. She graduated in 1967 and returned to Graham, where she taught school for eight years. In the mid-1970s, Jeannie began speaking about her life as a pageant competitor and as a teacher. Along the way, she'd weave in real-life humor into her stories, and as time went by, Jeannie achieved regional attention as a humorist and began marketing herself by recording her engagements and selling tapes and CDs. Thanks to YouTube and Sirius XM Radio, Jeannie achieved national fame as she was featured regularly on the satellite radios Laugh USA and Blue Collar Comedy Channels. Jeannie considered herself a humorist and not a comedian. She once said as a humorist, I weave longer stories with a point. I don't go after anybody, I just telling stories about the humor I find in my life. A big part of Jeannie's life and her stories was her husband Jerry who she married in 1974. Jerry Robertson was a scholar-athlete in his own right. He attended Duke University where he played basketball for the Blue Devils and was the team captain in 1959. Jerry graduated from Duke with a master's degree in education and went on to attain his doctorate from the University of North Carolina. Jeannie often said in her speaking engagements that Jerry had over-degreed himself. Jerry went on to have a distinguished career in education serving first as a teacher and principal before retiring as the superintendent of the Burlington City School System. Jeannie often explained that Jerry was logical, orderly, and overly analytical. She often said that he didn't like life outside his neat little box. For this reason, she often referred to him during her performances as Left Brain, or LB for short. Some of Jeannie's most popular stories centered around Jerry's and his logical, analytical behavior. Two of my favorites was Jerry's shopping list and Jerry goes to Hawaii. As lifelong residents of the Burlington Graham area, Jerry and Jeannie were both members of the Elon University Phoenix Club. 
and an avid supporter of Elon Athletics. The Elon University Track and Field Complex is named in their honor. Jerry and Jeannie Robertson was married for 47 years. Jerry passed away at the age of 83 on June 7, 2021. A few weeks later, on August 12, it was announced that Jeannie was canceling her future engagements due to a serious illness. Ten days later, on August 21, 2021, Jeannie Robertson passed away at the age of 77. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. If you remember Jeannie Robertson or any of the people that we visit in these videos, I hope you'll share your memories in the comments. And remember, I upload a new video every Sunday morning. So if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, I want to thank you for your support and your contribution to the growth of my channel. Every subscription and thumbs up really helps. So, until next week, please remember, life is a wonderful journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.